I'm not right wing. I'm not left wing. I am an American. I subscribe to the greatest liberalism that has ever occurred in the history of the world, the principles and ideals of the founding fathers of the United States of America that set men free, that created freedom for the common man. Even today, freedom is the greatest liberal idea that has ever existed, and it is in danger of extinction as I speak. If you call yourself a liberal and you don't understand that, then you're not a liberal. If you call yourself a conservative and you don't understand that, you don't know the meaning of conservative. The fact that you call yourself these names, the fact that you slice the population in divisive segments armed with words and politics, and yes, even violence against each other, means absolutely that you are not American. That you have no conception of, of what that word means. Liberal, indeed. Left-wing, indeed. Conservative, indeed. Right-wing, indeed. Libertarian, indeed. Up your nose with a rubber hose. You have no idea what you're even talking about. You're all full of crap. And what's more, I think most of you know it. It's always absolutely amazed me how people who have set out to destroy freedom in this world can become such chronic liars in their life that they all know that each other are lying. They stand there face to face lying to each other and they all pretend like it's not happening. How absolutely disgusting can you be to your own self? It's one thing to lie to me. It's another thing to lie to yourself. And it's even quite another thing to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with someone who's just like you, who knows that you're lying to them and, he, and knows that they're going to lie right back to you and you all pretend like you're all telling the truth to each other. And you're the biggest liars and deceivers and manipulators that have ever lived upon the face of this earth. What makes you think that you're going to have some utopian world? What makes you think you're going to solve the problems of humanity when you can't even be honest with yourselves or with yourself? Where do you get off with this baloney? Oh, let's cut to the chase. Where do you get off with this bullshit? That's what it really is. Where do you get off with this stuff? How dare you tell me, a real American who really believes in freedom for all people, on all levels, freedom of religion, freedom of speech, rights, Guaranteed and protected for the individual. Where do you get off telling me that Pat Buchanan is right wing when he's a fascist and everybody knows it? Where do you get off telling me <laughs> that President Clinton is a Jeffersonian Democrat when Thomas Jefferson would have cut him down to his ankles and destroyed him in ten seconds if he even heard any of the blabber that comes out of his mouth? Where do you get off convincing people that the modern democratic socialism is somehow connected with the great liberalism, the ideas of freedom that Thomas Jefferson, Benjamin Franklin, George Washington, Thomas Paine all espoused? Who the hell do you think you are? Do you think that we are all really that stupid? That you can get away with this crap? Well, I got another thing coming for you, buddy. We're not. We are not at all. And we are not going to be. It's not going to happen. We are Americans. We understand the great principles and ideals which made this country great. 
we understand that these are the principles and ideals which set man free for the first time in the history of the world. And we also understand and know that if you, if you chronic liars and deceivers get your way, that freedom will not be long for this world. We'll go down the tubes on a roller coaster, flush the toilet, there it goes, into the great cesspool, mixed with all of the old lies that have ever been.